Everybody's doing fine? Yes. I didn't hear you. Yes. Big lunch test. Now, based on my introduction, you must have already figured that I am an engineer. I'm a hard-working engineer, but I think like a lazy man. How do I think like a lazy man? I think of building ideas that will help my laziness. Basically, make life easier for me. So today, I stand in front of you to discuss a few ideas which make life easier. Now, with the theme of today's event, which is One Happiness, we as engineers try and make life easier because for us, in easiness lies happiness. And that's how we engineers view our lives. And you can add laziness in there as well. That said, today, I'm going to share ideas that rely on technology. So there is a technological background to each of the ideas and using that how we can make life easier for each of us. So today as I discuss each idea I'm going to go like a typical engineer in a structured process which is first I'll be discussing the problem, defining the problem is the biggest problem. Second I'll be discussing the solution and third I'll be giving the benefits of each solution. So it's an engineering approach to explaining ideas. But don't worry, I will not bring out the geek in me. And I will try and keep it as non-technical as possible so that you guys don't fall asleep. That's it. Let's see what ideas we'll be looking at. First, we'll be looking at how do we make our offices smarter. Second, I will touch upon a very important aspect of today's lives for us, which is education. And third, an equally important topic for most of us, which is cooking. So how do we think of ideas that make life easier in these areas? So first, let's look at office. Now, how many times in our office do we have this problem? We can't find a document. Right? Don't we face that problem regularly? Yes. yes. Now, that could be due to two reasons. First, it's lost. You don't know where it is. Second, it's stolen. Think about the problem. If it's lost, your boss is angry. If it's stolen, your boss's boss's boss, all three bosses are angry. As a result, all three of you all, you lose your job. That's a problem. How do we solve this? Simple. What if we took a document and gave it a collar, a tag, so that whenever I want to find the document, I can ping, I can track, find out where it is, and most importantly, I can secure. So let's look at this idea using a very simple animation as we go, we embed on top of it. So this becomes a smart paper clip. I take the paper clip, I put it on the document which I want to track or secure. Now I have a cell phone, we all do. Now let's say I want to find where it is. I got an app, I ping it, it sends out an audio alarm and tells me where it is. On the other hand, if some smart dialect tries to steal it, I get an alert. Right? Fairly simple idea. So basically, if I want to find if the document is in the room, send a message, hey, where are you? It tells me, hey, I'm here. <laughs> and if somebody tries to take it, it has a motion sensor on it. It says, hey, somebody's trying to steal me. So straightforward. Let's look at the benefits of it. First, it's going to help me track. It's going to help me secure. That's the basic benefit. Second, think of this idea. I can extend this to files, I can extend this to folders, I can extend this to envelopes, <laughs> right? So that way is you can make life easy and most importantly, nobody loses their job. One happiness, right? So 
Now that we've seen one segment of what we're looking at, which is offices, let's move on to a very important area that is close to my heart, which is education. So let's look at the problem in education. In education, one of the most important problems is how many of you all feel that when our kids or ourselves, when we go to give a test, it's very stressful? How many of you all feel that? Raise your hands. Come on, don't tell me all others were not stressed when I give a test. Right? And all of us are stressed. So today, testing in education is very stressful, right? Right? You start with the exam and it's, it starts, the, the rat race starts, right? So the approach there, what today's testing does not take into account is the state of mind of the student. Do you agree? Yes. That's another problem. And third, our testing is what one simple, one size fits all. I have this test, everybody must give it. So yeah, that is what we are dealing with today. But can we think of a way to change this? Let's think about a solution here. So today most students, we see young youngsters, they started wearing these fitness bands and wearables, right? So keeping that in mind, can we use wearables to sense the state of mind of the student and accordingly test the student? So that's the idea. Fundamentally, you are all aware that wearables measure the heart rate, correct? So can we use some feedback to test the student? Let's take a look. So you have a student about to give a test with a wearable. Now, the wearable will measure the heart rate of the student. Now, initially, when you're giving a test, you're stressed. So we start off by giving you easy questions. Bring you down, bring the heart rate down. As the student relaxes, that's when the real questions start to appear. When you're completing, that's when we really start testing. Let's say in between, your heart rate goes up again, there comes another easy question. But we try and use this kind of biofeedback to actually help a student really understand and fulfill his or her own potential. Let's look at some of the benefits here. First, it's going to be very centralized to the student, right? It's personalized. It's, it's not about the test, it's now about the student. Second, the center of attention is no more the test. Again, it's all about the student. Third, it's going to lead to better analytics. Analytics means understanding. It's better for us to understand how the student is learning. And why do we do all of this? So that all our teachers can teach better. That's where it fundamentally revolves around one happiness. Next, now that we've seen education, which is close to my heart, Let's touch upon a topic which is close to my mother's heart, cooking. So the next problem that I'm about to discuss actually stemmed from my house. My mother comes up to me and says, Jimmy, that's, that's what I call it, oh, can you keep track of the number of whistles that the cooker counts? Okay, isn't that a common day-to-day -day thing? Yes? Yes. So, she says, can you keep a track of the pressure cooker counts? Now, me being me, lazy, remember what I told you, I'm going to be outside and I'm going to try and listen. Correct, focus on the word try. So, that said, this problem, invariably, I'm going to miss out on the counts. Correct? Uh, a lot of the husbands can also agree to that. Right? Now, once you do that, it's a trivial problem, but think of the long-term solution, right? Let's say you miss counts, it's wastage of gas. Now, we all know the price of LPG, right? So, wastage of gas and wastage of time. So, can we try and tackle this problem and make life easier? Solution, that's what we're working on. What if I build a smart connected whistle counter? All right, let's look at the idea. So the idea comprises of three elements, the pressure cooker, obviously, then you have a sensor device which is placed near the cooker and your cell phone. So to begin cooking, first place the pressure cooker on the gas, 
of this. Now, after you start heating up, the pressure cooker is going to whistle out. Now that sound is captured by the sensing device and it increases the count. That's trivial. Now let's say my mother asked me to keep track of counts up to two. So my device is going to wait for the second whistle. And once it captures the second sound, it's going to give me two or two or two options. One is an audio output, and for somebody sitting in the hall room, a notification on my cell phone. Interesting? Now think of an extension to this idea. What if the target count is reached? Then it can automatically cut the gas off. Wouldn't that save some gas? Yes. So that's something that we're looking at. So let's look at the benefits of this. Saves gas, saves time, and most importantly, my mother can watch her serials peacefully. <laughs> One happiness. So these were a few ideas that I wanted to present in front of you from a technological aspect which would make life easier and most importantly I couldn't have done this without my team so credit goes to them and I would like to close by saying two things as an engineer and to all my fellow engineers out there let's work on technology that helps our fellow Indians smile because in my belief and where I come from Inner happiness comes from the opposite person's smile. And that for me, since I'm patriotic, it's my fellow Indian. So I thank you for your time. Mandi Matra, Jai Hind. Thank you.